Hello guys, welcome back. So friend, in this session we will see how to install Kali Linux operating system on your virtual machine or VMware workstation. So before starting, if you are new on my channel, so like here and subscribe and press the bell icon to get the notification of all my new videos. So let's get started without wasting any more time. So friends, before installing your Kali Linux, you have to install the VMware workstation uh, on your device, on your operating system. Uh, I have the VMware workstation. You can also use the virtual Oracle virtual machine for uh, in, uh, installing the Kali Linux operating system in it. So I am using the VMware. If you want to know how to install VMware Workstation 16 Pro Player uh, for free with license key, you can check out my uh, YouTube channel. I have already uh, created the video of this uh, VMware Workstation installation. So today we will uh, install the Kali Linux in our VMware workstation. So before installing you have to uh, download the ISO file of your uh, Kali Linux. So for this uh, you will uh, check out this uh, website from where you can install the Kali Linux ISO file. I will provide the link of this website in the description box. You can download it from there. So let's get started. So simply create new virtual machine. And after this you have to select the installer disk image where uh, from where you have uh, downloaded the ISO file of your Kali Linux just browse that file I have that in ISO file and as you can see Kali Linux 2022 installer so click on the next and after that you have to select the Linux operating system and from here the uh, kernel is other Linux 4.x kernel you are going to use this 64 bit kernel so click on this and press enter after this uh, the location of your virtual machine where you want to install it so simply select your uh, location so i'm going to install it in uh, local disk g and ok after this click on next and here you are going to provide the maximum size of your uh, disk uh, so just provide it 20 gbs or 30 GB 30 GB is more than enough so uh, here we are going to store virtual disk as a single file it's up on to you you want the separate files of your Linux operating system or a single file so after this click on the next button and we will uh, click on customize hardware and from here you're going to provide the process uh, RAM memory available on your system so I'm going to provide it 5 GB after this you are going to um, provide the processors I will provide two processors and after this you are going to change the uh, network adapter to bridge adapter uh, and after that just click on close finish and as you can see our uh, Linux uh, environment has been created so now just play this So as you can see now the install installer has been opened so simply click on the uh, graphical install after this it will take some time to open up the first uh, page of installation process as you can see so now from here we are going to select the language and we are going to select English after this uh, here you are going to select your location we are from Pakistan so we will go in others Asia and Pakistan after this uh, you will select the uh, locals so it will be United States American English the keyboard type and as you can see the first uh, process of our installation has been started so it is detecting and mounting the installation media and the installer components from installation media is uh, loading in our uh, location where we have browsed the installation file so now as you can see it will de detect our network hardware it's up on to you you want to configure your network uh, right now or later i'm configuring the network right now because i'm connected to the internet and now here we are going to select a host name for our system so let's uh, say we, i want to write fk enter domain name you can uh, just uh, set it empty after this it will configure and uh, now we are going to use the username which username you want to select so we will use cyber zone 
okay continue continue and here you are going to select your password just uh, select your password as you want to continue and as you can see it will now configure the clock As you can see uh, at the bottom here we have some uh, tools to install of, uh, for our VMware workstation. So you have to click on remind me later because after installing your Kali Linux you have to install these uh, uh, tools for the VMware workstation to work properly. So now we are going to uh, select the guided use entire disk. After this, uh, this is your disk which you have provided the space of 32 GB or 30 GB. After this, you have to select all files in one partition and finish partition and click, click on yes. And now as you can see the install, install the base system has been started and after this step we will select some uh, more features and after that we have to wait to, for the uh, process to be completed. And as you can see our base system uh, is installed in the memory and here we are going to select some uh, softwares which we want to install or not so as you can see we are going to deselect the xfc interface of the linux we are going to use the genome interface because it is uh, more preferred and i like the genome one uh, so let's get on to it so click on continue So guys, uh, the previous uh, step took uh, more than 30 minutes to install on my system and as you can see now we are going to install the grub bootloader. So it depends upon your uh, system specification that how much time it will take to install on your system. So if you have the fast system so it will uh, install more quickly on your system. So as you can see now we have completely installed the Kali Linux and it now it is uh, finishing the installation process and uh, after this uh, it will reboot the system and we will log in into our uh, Kali Linux operating system. So friends as you can see it is requesting us for uh, the reboot uh, process so we have to click on the continue process. And as you can see now it will reboot the system to make some changes to the Linux or to set up some files of the Linux in our directories. So now it is uh, as you can see grub bootloader is loading the Linux OS. So as you can see we are going to click on Kali Linux GUI. So guys as you can see our login window is opened and we are going to simply login into our user. Uh, this is cyber zone which we have uh, selected in the installation process. So type your password and press enter. So guys as you can see we have successfully installed the uh, Kali Linux 2022.2 uh, uh, version of our Linux operating system on our VMware Workstation 16 Pro. So guys uh, in my next videos I am going to briefly discuss about uh, its tools and uh, some basic commands of Linux. So if you want to be notified so press the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get the notification of all my new videos. So viewers that's it for our today's session and if you uh, have learned something valuable from my today's session so like share and subscribe and press the bell icon to get the notification of all my new videos. So let's meet in the next video. Until then, take care. Goodbye.